Deputy Martin Hayden, questions 56 and 57. Uh, uh, Count Corla, and uh, my first of two questions here together is to ask the Minister about progress on secondary school extensions, but I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate uh, the Minister, who I consider a good friend, uh, on his elevation uh, to this full Cabinet position, uh, a position I believe he's uh, well capable of handling uh, from his experience from his time in the House here. It's a huge honour for him and his family, and a testament to the work he's done as a Chuck Dalla here representing Donegal up to now uh, for such an elevation, and I look forward to working with him and making him very aware of all the challenges we face in South Kildare, Count Gorla, uh, in terms of education. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Deputy, and I uh, appreciate your kind words there as well, and I look forward to working with you on uh, uh, a number of important uh, elements of education as well, and no doubt the Count Gorla uh, will be very interested in a number of these issues as well in spirit and service. Um, as the Deputy will be aware, uh, my department is currently advancing building projects in a number of post-primary schools in the South Kildare school planning areas, and these projects, when completed, will provide additional capacity in, in the region of 1,700 school uh, places. For the Deputy's information, the current status of the projects is as follows. On St Conleth's Community College, Newbridge, the project is on site and is due to be completed shortly. Athai Community College, Athai, the project brief has been completed and the project has been devolved to Kildare and Wicklow ETB for delivery. Cross and Passion Secondary School, Kilcullen, the project is at project brief, uh, at project brief stage. Uh, Patrician College, Newbridge, the project is at project brief stage. And St Paul's Secondary School, Monaster Everin, the project is at stage 2B detailed design stage. Uh, Minister Bruton recently announced plans for the establishment of 42 new schools over the next four years, 19 to 22. In addition to the new schools announced, there will be a need for further school accommodation in other areas in the future. While this announcement did not include a new post-primary school in the South Kildare school planning areas, a review of provision at post-primary school level across the school planning areas in South Kildare is now well advanced and the outcome will be made available by the end of October. This review will include an assessment of the extent to which projected needs in the area will be met from the additional capacity being provided by the projects already approved and how any uh, specific additional needs will be best catered for, recognising the importance of maintaining a balance between existing and any additional additional uh, school provision. Uh, thank the Minister for his response. And um, I, the fact that the questions are grouped, I have a fair few uh, points I want to make, so I'll stick to the extensions in my first uh, supplementary. Um, St Paul's School in Monster Evans, as the Count Corley will be well aware, is a school programme minister that has been onset by numerous delays, not all caused by the Department of Education. Uh, there are pre, -qualifica uh, pre qualification of contractors' process, but we need to ensure there is no delay in moving to tender. And I reassured uh, parents this week that uh, the change in ministerial um, uh, ministers won't have any impact on that and that the department will stand ready and I'll stay in touch with you uh, on that one as I'm sure the Count Corner will as well. A Thai community college has been devolved uh, to end a service level agreement um, established with the Kildare ETB um, Kildare Wicklow ETB. They're at four, four, 440 pupils now for a school that was built for 400. Um, it needs to go to 1,000. There's, there's prefabs on site. Uh, there's more coming and there is significant pressure so we can't have a delay there. Uh, the patricians in, in Newbridge is uh, Delighted to see that go to the NDFA. Next step is planning and design, but again, we need to keep pressure on because pressure in the Newbridge Kildare area is really, really significant uh, in those places. And for St Conlets, there has been a delay um, in the opening of the extension. It's had a particular impact on six uh, pupils with between mild and moderate uh, intellectual uh, uh, special educational needs, and uh, this is causing huge distress. Officials in your department made a point previously that um, you know, they would stand with the parents if there was any delays. What they've been offered to date, and Count Corla and other public representatives in the area have worked on this as well, but, uh, home tuition where the parents have defined the tutor isn't sufficient. Um, huge distress has been put on those parents who thought they'd have the space in September. In fairness to the principal of the school, it's, it's not her fault. She's doing her best to manage what is a very difficult situation. But I would ask that the special education section of your department uh, would give every support to those parents and we try and get those six pupils into their special accommodation as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, there's a, you know, a number of individual schools there, and can I just say one thing in regard to 
the current ongoing uh, building programme and capital plan. Uh, one thing I've, I've learned in, in a very short while in the job, I can't walk from one end of the corridor to another uh, without meeting a, a TD or a senator and is looking for information on uh, a project within the capital plan. Now, in fairness, uh, Minister Bruton has introduced a, a communication system. The different stages of the projects are at are on, on the website, and it's important that we can communicate any changes in, in that regard. Um, in relation to um, the specific schools, if there are uh, any further information, if there's any further information needed, if uh, your colleagues in the Kildare constituency need to sit down with one of the officials within uh, the building unit, um, I'm happy to organise that as well. Uh, I thank the Minister for that. And, you know, this is our opening shot where I make you familiar with the schools in South Kildare and we will continue to um, brief you on the impact of, of, uh, uh, of pressures on spaces on the ground um, as they develop. In terms of your original response uh, regarding a review of overall demographics of Kildare and pressure on spaces, um, I welcome that. I welcome the fact that we're very close to a final announcement on the need for um, increased provision beyond these extensions. And, um, you know, South Kildare Educate Together was a campaign established in 2014. And since that time, we've had meetings with two Taoiseach, uh, two Ministers for Education and Department officials. Joe, your Minister number Tree and we still haven't gone away and uh, we would be there's a huge demand from parents uh, who have children in in uh, primary level that we can get uh, improved provision of choice at second level school in Kildare South as well um, the department shouldn't be surprised for this demand uh, two primary schools were opened at Educate Together um, a number of years ago in South Kildare and the Educate Together primary school in Kildare Town this year for the first time has a sixth class and those parents went to Port Leash to look at a second level Educate Together school because they don't have that option in Kildare South uh, and I think that does need to be addressed. A new school in its own self um, and all the decisions would need to be made around the patronage process and site selection and acquisition would take an awful long time and under pressure that I believe that your review in your department Will show, will show that we don't have that level of time. And I'm on the record over two years ago as having said that I believe one very good fit here to work with the Educate, Educate Together campaign and also to address these issues um, of pressure on spaces would be to look at the current post-primary, which is a school that absolutely deserves a new building. It's um, in... in, in we have a great staff and great students working in very difficult circumstances. And I believe a partnership or joint patronage process with Educate Together and a new school building for the Curra could deliver that increased capacity in an area between two very big towns that are at Burston Point in Kildare Town and Newbridge. Uh, it could attract pupils from primary schools like at Garvin, Bally Sachs, um, uh, uh, Suncroft. Um, and, and many more in that area that presently all go in and feed into those towns. Uh, it would rejuvenate that area. It would be an absolute shot in the arm, but it, very well due um, to the, the staff and students of, of that school. Um, and irrespective of where that site is, whether the Department of, Edu uh, Department of Defence work with us on provision of a new site on camp or whether we have a new site outside of the Curra, um in, in, in the surrounding areas, I think that is probably the most common sense approach that would give us that increased capacity as quick as possible. And uh, I've no doubt that the figures that have come back to your officials uh, from the most recent um, uh, figures compiled at the end of September of this year will show that the pressure that myself, the Count Corla and other public rep representatives have expressed here over the last number of years in Kildare South is very real and will not be met by the extensions that are, are proposed alone. Minister, to conclude on these two questions. Yeah, look, um, I, th I think the, your observation that the, the review of the provision of post-primary school in the general uh, school planning areas of South Kildare uh, is important. Look, it is well advanced, and I certainly... Uh, make that available by the end of October. And demographics is uh, the research tool um, with regard to where uh, accommodation need is prioritised. And if we go back to 2011, when Minister Rory Quinn was in, 
in developing his 16 to 21 plan, it was very much based, the measurement was, uh, where are the population pressures? Uh, my predecessor, Richard Britton, overseen um, that capital pro program starting in 16. We're still in that space, 16 to 21. But we do have uh, a trajectory now over 10 years where we have an 8.4 billion euro uh, capital uh, fund, which is um, which is double in size to the 10 years prior to uh, the National Development Plan um, time frame that we're envisaging. So, look, I'll, I'll keep you updated and uh, I'll keep uh, uh, I'll, I'll ensure that the commitment here given today that the review will be made at the end of October will be made at the end of October.